Good evening to you. I'm Tom Ziska. We're glad to have you with us. We begin with former President Trump saying he is safe and well after what the FBI says was an attempt on his life today. Authorities have a suspect in custody identified as Ryan Wesley Routh. Fox's Connor Hansen reports on this second time that Trump has been targeted in just over two months. The FBI investigating a second assassination attempt against former President Donald Trump, this time at his golf course in Florida. Secret Service reported shots fired at 1.30 p.m. Sunday outside Trump International Golf Club where Trump was playing. A Secret Service advance team spotted the gunman before they opened fire. What they do is they have an agent that jumps one hole ahead of time to where the president was at. And he was able to spot this rifle barrel, stick it out of the fence, and immediately engage that individual, at which time the individual took off. The suspect tried to flee in a black Nissan. A witness reported the license plate to police. We were able to get a hit on that vehicle on I-95 as it was headed into Martin County. And they spotted the vehicle and pulled it over and detained the guy. Along the fence line where the suspect was hiding, Secret Service found an AK-47 style rifle with a scope, two backpacks, and a GoPro. The shooter's position within striking distance of the former president. Probably between three and 500 yards, but with a rifle and a scope like that, that's not a long distance. Trump was not hurt. President Biden and Vice President Harris were both briefed and issued statements saying they're thankful for Trump's safety. J.D. Vance also posted on X that he spoke to Trump, who was, quote, in good spirits. It's not clear when the alleged assassin started trailing the former president. Sunday's round of golf was not on his public schedule. The FBI and Secret Service are handling the investigation.